in one of the previous lectures, we learned about use callback. And there we used use callback to store a function in React's internal memory so that it will not get recreated whenever the component function inside which we are declaring that function is re-executed. So here in this demo component, we are passing this function and this function to this use callback. So what this use callback will do is it will store these two functions in React's internal memory. So whenever the state inside this demo component will change, this demo component will be re-executed. And when this demo component will be re-executed, it is not going to recreate this function. That means this increment handler function and this decrement handler function. Now in this lecture, let's learn about another React hook called use memo, which we can also use for optimizing our React app. So if I go to this span component, we are exporting this span component by wrapping it within react.memo. So whenever the props inside this span component will not change, this span component will not get re-executed. Okay, so that means whenever this props.children will not change, this span component will not get re-executed. So from this demo component where we are using this span component instead of this count variable, if I pass 10. So in this case, whenever this demo component will be re-executed because of the state change or something else and when it finds this line it will not re-execute this span component because in this span component we are passing this value 10 so in the span component this props.children will always remain 10 and since the value of the props not changing here this span component will not get re-executed but instead of 10 if i pass an array let's say an array with two elements 100 and let's say 200 and in the span component, if I go and if I use props.children, so this props.children is going to receive this array. And from that array, I want to display the value of the first element. For that, I can use the index 0. Now, in this case, to this props.children, we are passing a reference type. So here, this array is of reference type. And we have seen that with the reference type, this react.memo does not work as expected so when we have a function so function is also of reference type so in order to make this react.memo work as expected with the functions what we do is we pass that function to this use callback but what if i want to pass an array to the child component to the props of the child component here this array is also of reference type so every time this demo component will be re-executed this array will be recreated and there the reference of this array will change the memory address where this array is stored that might change even though the array itself is not changing but its reference might change and when the reference will change since we are passing a reference to this props.children here the props value will change and because of that this span component will be re-executed and to prove this if I go to the web page let's refresh the page here let's clear everything and let's click on this activate button then only this plus and minus button will work so let's click on this activate button when we clicked on this activate button all these components were re-executed and you can see here the span component has also been re-executed now if i clear the console here and if i click on this plus button here also you will notice that this span component is getting re-executed when i click on this minus button then also this span component is getting re-executed that's because in the span component this props value is changing here inside this props.children we are going to receive a reference to an array and whenever the demo component is getting re-rendered that array is getting recreated and there the reference is changing so since this props.children reference is changing this component is getting re-executed now how we can resolve this issue well for that just like use callback we have another hook called use memo so here we can go ahead and we can use use memo and in order to use this use memo we also need to import it from react library and to this use memo we can call it like a function and to this use memo function we can pass a callback function like this and from within this callback function we can return that array so here in this array we wanted to have two elements 100 and 200 so in this way we can return this array from the callback function of use memo okay or what we can also do is we can go ahead and we can create a variable maybe list and to this we can assign 
use memo. Again, this use memo takes a callback function. So here for the callback function, I'm using this arrow function syntax. And from here, we can return our array. So we want to return an array with 100 and 200 as its elements. And here, instead of using this complete expression, let's use that list variable. And just like use callback, this use memo also expects a second argument, which is an array of dependencies. And inside this array of dependencies, you can specify all those states or all those variables which you are using inside this callback function and whose value might change. Now, currently inside this callback function, we are simply returning an array. So we don't have any state or any variable. So for the dependency, I'm passing an empty array. With this, if I save the changes and if you go to the web page and let me refresh the page. So initially, all the components will be executed. Now, let me clear the console here. And when I click on this activate button, this state of this demo component will change. So this activate state will change. It will change from false to true. So in that case, this demo component will be re-executed. But now the reference of this array will never change because what this use memo will do is it will create this array in the React's internal memory. And whenever this demo component will be re-executed, it is not going to recreate this array again. Instead, it will reference this array from the React's internal memory. And because of that, this list arrays reference will never change. And when the reference here will never change in the span component, this props.children will always receive the same reference. Okay. And since it is going to receive the same reference for this props, this span component will not get executed. Let's see that in action. So here, when I click on this activate button, you will see that the demo component has been executed. The button component has been executed, but the span component has not been executed. If I click on this plus button, again, you will see that the demo component has been executed and the button component has been executed, but the span component has not been executed. And same thing, when I click on this minus button, the demo component has been executed and the button component has been executed, but the span component has not been executed. And this is the use of use memo react hook. So just like with use callback, we can store a function in React's internal memory so that it will not get recreated and its reference will not change. In the same way, we can also store any other reference type in React's internal memory using this use memo. In that case, whenever the component inside which we are using this use memo, whenever that component gets re-executed, the reference type which we are storing in React's internal memory that will not get recreated with every re-evaluation of that component. I hope it is clear now. So this is all I wanted to show you in this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.